Hello everybody, I'm bringing you a special boy message sponsored by Warner Brothers to promote the new King Arthur movie. Go see King Arthur Legend of the Sword in theaters May 12th. What I'm about to show you is the process of shooting an advertisement. In this case, it's for King Arthur Legend of the Sword. Very recently, I was asked to be a part of a machinima commercial, and I say yes to everything. But what I didn't know is that they were going to style my hair wrong. I was very disappointed. I didn't see a trailer outside for me. I had to ask why. I will need to see double check with legal. Um, I am not the person who will have that answer for you. I couldn't believe it either. And then they made me sign a crew time card. I'm sorry, I thought I was talent, AKA the cast. The last time I visited the Machinima offices, I didn't exactly leave the best impression. I, I put a bunch of forks outside of their door to inconvenience them because one of their um one of their employees said something mean to me on Twitter. There's spoons and knives in there. It's not a full forking, I agree. But I didn't even have to worry what they were going to say because they weren't even at work yet. They get in at what time? Ten o'clock. Really, ten o'clock every day. What time do they go home? Uh, six. Six. They or have a seven. Uh, that's reasonable. This purple-haired vagrant right here actually worked as an editor for the gaming channel we did at SourceFed. We go way back, unfortunately, and she was the only one around to give me a tour of the office. This is where we shoot ETC. We even have our own bar with an actual life. Yuck, this place sucks. While Kez showed me around, I had to ask the important question that I don't think anybody's asked before. Where, where are Sea Nanners and Hutch and them? Where are they shot at? Mm -hmm. Where are Sea Nanners, Hutch, and, like, Sark? Where are Mr. S where's, where are Mr. Sark? Do you know who Mr. Sark is? No. Do you really not? I know. What about, do you know who Sea Anders is? I heard the name. You're in a new age, it's fine. It's fine, because Jesus Christ. We sat and talked for a little bit about the different paths we've gone on in life. Mine being one to glory, hers much lower, much worse. After I was a little depressed talking to Kez, my camera guy James showed up. I actually didn't bring you here to film, I brought you here just as uh, emotional support. Totally man, I'm here. But I can't, I don't think I'm allowed to Honestly you talk. aren't, like straight up. Legitimately, like that's not even- could come in and kill you any minute. Kez is trying to do a bit, but what I'm saying is- I can't believe it took me this long to realize why James is one of the worst cameramen I've ever had. How's it look? That's right, James suffers from circus eyes. Um, there's a couple legalese terms, etc. things that we have to make sure that you say at the beginning, and I want to put those things in prompter so we say them in a way that is natural for you. Should I be recording this? After she told me no, I was introduced to the head makeup consultant, Manny. Manny, nice to meet you. Steve, I didn't say Eddie, I'm James. Was it Eddie? It's Manny. Ma Eddie, James. Manny. Eddie. So what's your YouTube channel? Uh, vomit tits. What do you do? do like I mostly just stuff? film the... the well, I mean, it's like kind of self-explanatory. Well, yeah, not for everyone reaching a niche. My nice demographic's uh, eight through nine years old. Manny didn't care much for being on camera. Me, on the other hand, <laughs> I'm a little hog. I'm a little camera pig, as you can see from my on-screen personality right here. Uh, go see King Arthur, Legend of the Sword in theaters, May 12th. I wasn't sure why my nerves were acting up, but they were preventing me from being the best version of myself in such a professional environment. I was so frustrated. Believe it or not, I was so nervous, I couldn't even drink water right. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric regretted his words when I decided to file a false workers' comp claim. Ow. After I was done taking legal action, they took me into the green room to explain the piece that we were shooting that day. And then we'll do kind of individual push-ins on each of you. You're not my boss. I'm the talent. I was finally on set, but I was so worried James had left. I couldn't see him in the shadows in the distance. I didn't know what was going to happen if I had one of my attacks. And sure enough, Be right over here if you have another okay. attack. Another lie. James wasn't available for almost the rest of the day. James chose to spend my time and my dime networking. Yeah. Hey. Since James was networking, I figured I might as well too, so I tried to talk to some of the other talent on the set. You guys can get out. What about Moonlight? You guys see Moonlight? I was getting the cold shoulder from all of the co-stars, so I decided to call Kib. Unfortunately, he just kept saying the word mother. During one of our breaks, I went around the Machinima office and checked out their production facility. I was definitely a little jealous, and then I saw their green screen room. James and I had to check it out. Hey, 
I was a water warrior in Iraq. After the green screen room, we just sat around for a little bit. James was definitely not as talkative as before, and I wasn't sure why. Yeah. Take a bath, dude. Are you seriously just heading out? I'm paying you $100 to be here today. Every time I try to shoot with James, he leaves early, so I was a little happy when Karma decided to strike back. Sure, I had to shoot my own video, but James got stuck in the door for three hours. I normally don't do sponsored videos, but I'm a pretty big fan of a couple of guys that are in the movie that I'm promoting, Jude Law and Charlie Hunnam. Also, anything that gets me out of the house is nice. So all of this work, all of these people, all of this production, what does it actually create? Here is the final product of everything that we shot that day. We've beaten you before! You'll never you win! You can't beat us! Only the chosen one can pull the controller from still. Show the people the power of Excalibur!